ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ ಟುಡೇ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಡೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಡೇ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ವರ್ತನ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅರ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅನದರ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡಿಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಬಿ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದೆಮ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆರ್ ಏಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಮಿಸ್ಅಲೈನ್ಡ್ with that aim so god the father has a method a beautiful method to teach us today so that we become somebody who's powerful whose way of thinking is correct in alignment with god whose way of looking to things to towards people towards all the things which one is surrounded by also changes over a period of time and not just that after this the complete attitude of the soul also becomes aligned with god the father something which is not of this world so we become a soul which thinks beyond the worldly desires from people and from things so let's understand what exactly god wants us to do over here in this beautiful meditative blessing <music> baba says may you make your awareness attitude and vision my awareness means my way of thinking my attitude towards things and people and my vision of how should i perceive the world what should i see in people what should i see in things and not just that what should i see when i look at myself in the mirror means i cannot see myself the soul but this physical self in the mirror what should i perceive this as should i be attracted to it should i be attached to this body also because liberation cannot come when i am attached to my own physical body and physical world and physical things connected to this physical body so now baba says may you make your awareness attitude and vision a lokik a lokik is a word which we use where lokik means worldly way of thinking attitude and vision a lokik means something which is beyond this world so if you think about it we souls are not from this world we have come from beyond this world which we say as parlok or param dham shanti dham nirvan dham where there is no vani or no words so nirvana a world where there is no words or no sound so nirvan dham or param dham or shanti dham so i the soul belong to that world that means i am an alokik soul but when i come into this body and my vision becomes impure i think i belong to this world and everything around me is mine and that's where our attachment and our greed comes in and we get attached to things to so many things like drugs alcohol to our own clothes to the jewelry to our home to the things which we use on a daily basis and we are so attached to them that if anything happens to them we are either sad or we are either angry or we become more greedy or we become jealous of other people and that's where our qualities become dark so baba says i have come here to remove you and to remove your stress so how to become completely stress free how to become totally somebody who is alokic let's understand so baba says may you may you make your awareness attitude and vision a lokik and become free from all attractions in an explanation baba says it is said as your thoughts so is your world so the way i think we generally think the way i think about earning money the way i think about attaining something in the world so we connect or we attach positive thinking only to attainments in the world but god says there is something beyond those physical attainments because to achieve those physical attainments also you become completely attached to them get into greed or jealousy and you reduce your spiritual power and you are lost in them so god says that as your thoughts so is your world so the way i think about myself that i am a soul not this body defines the attitude defines the vision i will have towards things and towards people from now on then every thought of of the special souls who are instruments to make the world new should be elevated 
So God comes on earth and he tells us that you children were sent on this earth and you have spoiled the complete condition of the earth. You have spoiled your relationships. You have spoiled your complete physical condition. You have spoiled the condition of the whole world, your country, everything. Now I come down and I teach you and I give you the true gyan or the satya gyan or the truth about you that you are a soul, you are immortal. Body is not immortal. So that's why this is not truth. Truth is I the soul. So when he gives us the knowledge about the soul, that's the time our mind becomes more stable. We can now look at everybody through a completely soul conscious way without any distinction of any form of rich, poor or any form of good looking, ugly or any form of religious biasness or any form of other impure vision. So God says now your vision becomes completely pure and your attitude towards things and people becomes pure. And the first lesson which God gives us is that this world is just a place for you to do your karmas. This world doesn't belong to you. This is just a place like a hotel where you come, you use the things around. So you are just not the owner of things around you. You are just a passerby who is using and utilizing things which are a gift of God. This world belongs to God. And we are just enjoying in this park and enjoying the instruments in this park and we have to return back. But if I start saying this instrument is mine, this park is mine, that's where the complete fight begins with other souls also. So God says you are a locket, not locket of this world. Always remember that in meditation and spirituality. So then Baba says when your awareness is this, attitude and vision all become a locket, not of this world. No person or thing of this world can then attract you. Not even things which we are connected to or attracted to. Maybe a drink, maybe alcohol, maybe drug or maybe any form of thing which we get attracted to. If it does attract you, then God says, there is definitely something missing in your spirituality. That means you are not soul conscious, you are getting body conscious. And that's where the differences, arguments and misunderstanding between people and also regarding things comes in your life. You get cannot get detached from things. We are always in the attitude of my, my, my or mine. This is mine, that is mine. My way, the highway. And that's where God says the complete sins of a life increase. So, I have to have a vision, thought and attitude of a locket. That means I the soul am not of this world. I am just a transitioner who is transitioning from this world to Paramdham or Brahmaloka. And that is should that is, should be my attitude. And with that attitude, I can pass through all the greed and all the jealousy and everything and surpass it and move towards complete peace and in alignment with God's vision towards me. So then Baba says, a lokik means spiritual souls are free from all attraction. So think about it, how spiritual or how religious are we? And with this, I leave you. Stay blessed, stay protected, stay healthy, both mentally, stay spiritual, alokic, and at the same time, be safe at home. Om Shanti, have a blessed day.